Hey guys, this is Nathan from Money Matters, and today I'm taking you through what you need to know about the world's richest farms, what they do, and what exactly makes them that rich and successful. Watch till the end to know the richest farm in the world. And most importantly, are the richest farms of the world all about the smell of dust, animals, fresh air, grass, and children playing? Is this idea of farms what billionaires have in mind too? Well, in this video, we'll be looking at the richest farms in the world, who owns them and what they're known for. Perhaps money grows on farms after all. And the word farm or farmer doesn't mean poor and uneducated. At the end of the day, the richest farmers are business-minded individuals that need to be respected. Let's start with the richest farm ranked 10th. Number 10. Tony Perrick Alongside his brother Ron Perrick, Tony Perrick is one of the richest farmers in the world. Tony Perrick is estimated to be worth at least $2 billion. Wealth that he shares with his brother Ron, which means that theirs is a family venture. They started out as dairy farmers, and it's been smooth sailing and growth all through for his family. And theirs is now one of the largest dairy farms in all of Australia. They run Leppington Pastoral, boasting over 2,000 cows on a large tract of land, with an area of about 11,000 hectares. But their fortune is not from farming alone. These two brothers seem to understand all too well the benefits of diversified business interests and investments. They are known as property developers. They also own the Greenfields development property that makes up more than half their total wealth, selling at least 12,500 housing units based in Western Sydney. One notable venture is their 52.5% stake of the listed stock for ASX-listed Freedom Foods. Tony Perrick is known for not only his green thumb, but also the fact that he has the best of farming running through his veins. Tony inherited the farm from his father. His parents were immigrants from Croatia. Within the 1950s, with Tony and his brother starting out with milking of just 25 cows and sale of their dairy produce from 1951, they've not let fame and wealth get in their way too much and still prefer the simple life, choosing to lead their lives on the farm they were brought up in. This is the same land that their parents bought after immigrating to Australia from Croatia. Over time, they've now expanded the farming business, with some of their focus now directed to the growing grains business. Tony Perrick, and the Perrick name, is also known for ownership of the two stations at Trangi and West Wyalong. Beyond their conquests, the need for the simplest lifestyle and love for community, especially for Western Sydney, has seen Tony make donations and other kinds of support to the community. Next, we head out to Russia. Number 9. Vadim Moshkovich Vadim Nikolaevich Moskovich is not just the second richest farmer in the world, but also has been ranked the 54th richest person and businessman in Russia. Born in Moscow, Russia in 1967, Vadim is a Cypriot Russian billionaire and also a philanthropist, with numerous business interests that include some major investments in real estate development and in agriculture. While most of his interests now lie in agriculture, Vadim Moskovich started out in the early 1990s dealing in the sale of vodka, no surprise there, oil, and apartments, before moving to agriculture. His first investment was in the sugar industry, where he boasts a number of sugar processing plants. Just to give you a glimpse of just how large his agricultural interests and investments are, Vadim Moskovich controls a whopping 460 hectares based in Russia's Black Earth District, which is also one of the largest farmland banks in Russia. But it's not just the huge chunk of land in his name. Vadim also controls six sugar plants that yield up to 220,000 tons of sugar annually. His agricultural exploits don't end there though, as he always has interests in the production of oils and fats, including margarine, 20,000 tons, and mayonnaise, 25,000 tons. His farm also deals in meat production, and in 2014, for example, his farm recorded a record 80,000 tons of pork. Today, Vadim Moskovich is the farmer that is known for a large chunk of Russia's production for pork, sugar, margarine, and mayonnaise. His company is also in control of an impressive 1,136,684 acres of farmland in Russia. And thanks to his different investments, he reportedly has a net worth of 2.2 billion. He's also known to have used much of his considerable wealth to set up or help in the setup of a school for gifted students. These students receive scholarships and other kinds of help to be enrolled in world-class school. Number 8. Bu Guangming Bu Guangming is one of China's largest chicken breeders, noted to have started his chicken breeding business back in the 80s. However, his company wasn't really as successful until he won the contract to supply chicken to KFC in China, and he remains the biggest chicken supplier for KFC in China. Currently, his estimated net worth stands at 2.7 billion, wealth that he shares with his daughter, 
who joined the company as one of its directors. Number 7. Prince Sultan bin Mohammed bin Saud Al Kabir Born in Riyadh, this prince has a considerable amount of wealth, thanks to the huge tract of farmland he owns. While some people would think of his profile as somewhat tricky, he is the founder CEO of Almarai, which is the biggest food producer in the entire Gulf. This is a company that started out as just a dairy farm, but they now produce everything from milk and cheese, among other dairy products, to processed chicken, a large variety of baked goods, and even fresh juice. All these have contributed to the prince's enormous wealth, that was last estimated to stand at 3.8 billion. But here's the kicker. Things got a little dicey for Prince Sultan in 2017, when the prince and his son got detained over their alleged involvement in protests against the government. And despite being included in the Forbes' richest list more than once, his name was eventually expunged from the list in March 2018. It's not clear if he still has all of his assets and money, but he remains on our list because he is still listed as one of the most powerful businessmen in Saudi Arabia, as he appeared on the annual Arabian Business Saudi People Power List of 2020. Number 6. Andrej Babis Boasting an estimated net worth of 4.9 million, Andrej Babis is one of the most controversial names on the list, but also one of the richest farmers on the list. His focus was initially on agriculture, but he'd later go on to acquire a large empire made of top media companies before he got into politics. A notable date around this billionaire's life had got to be the 6th of December 2017 when he was appointed Czech Republic's Prime Minister. Unfortunately, his time was full of controversies, and the Stork's Nest affair is one that stood out particularly for us. He was accused of illegally acquiring 2 million euros worth of the country's EU subsidies meant for small businesses. It's alleged that he failed to mention that he was the owner of the farm called the Stork's Nest, but the criminal charges in this case were later dropped. This is definitely not what you had in mind when you thought of rich farmers. But hey, these things happen. Number 5. Harry Stein Halfway throughout the list is the farmer extraordinaire, Harry Stein. He was just a farm boy who was a little more inquisitive than his peers, and instead of fiddling with machinery used in farming, he preferred the seeds, wanting to learn more and all about seed genetics to be able to create better seeds. He's now considered the seed genetics savant. He boasts a real-time net worth of $6.5 billion and is the only well-known billionaire in Iowa. Harry Stein is a hard and smart worker who has made an enormous fortune from the licensing of corn and soybean genetics to top agriculture multinationalists like Syngenta and Monsanto. Stein has also founded Stein Seeds, which he still runs, and his biggest current obsession involves fiddling with seed genetics, allowing for improved pesticide resistance and improved yields. This passion didn't just start in recent years. It started back then, where, as the son of a hard-working old-school farmer, he was always fascinated with different seeds. Following in the footprints of his father, Stein started his adventures in the farm at the age of five, where he'd drive the tractor picking up bales of straw. At the time, his dad focused on soybean farming primarily. By studying soybean seeds and starting to breed with soybean lines, a thing that was only done by universities back then, he revolutionized farming to date and still works on making the farming practices in Iowa and the rest of the world the very best. What many people don't know about Stein is that he is mildly autistic and dyslexic, but also a data and math whiz, not to mention the most formidable negotiator you'd ever come across. So, in the 90s, he made what is now one of the most lucrative deals. This deal earned him the big license deals with multinational corporations. These deals are the backbone of this entire empire. He's all about the community, too and he's made numerous donations to Iowa institutions like Drake University, McPherson College, and also Spurgeon Manor. That's one of the best skilled nursing facilities dedicated to seniors. Did we mention that he owns the largest tract of land in all of Iowa? Number 4. Liu Yongjing Liu Yongjing is the chair of East Hope Group, a company whose interests are largely vested in agriculture, heavy industry, and an estate. Thanks to his many ventures, his wealth and net worth now stand at $6.6 and after moving to Shanghai, he is Shanghai's richest resident. Before forming the East Hope Group in the 90s, he was in business with his three brothers, and together they run the Hope Group Company in 1982 as farm workers, before they got into the chicken and quail business, and later animal feeds business. After they split, they formed four separate businesses, and his East Hope Group is what's behind his great success. His brothers are millionaires too. He has since diversified his investments, and his company is one of China's most successful companies. 
He kept a part of the agricultural aspect of things, but he's heavily invested in the heavy chemicals and aluminum industries, and his investments seem to have paid off well. Today, the East Hope Group is the world's largest producer of aluminum. Number 3. Stewart and Linda Resnick As we get closer to the top of the list, we have this power couple, Linda and Stuart Resnick, who, according to Forbes, have a net worth of $8 billion. They're among the richest farmers in the world and are based in California's Central Valley, where they specialize in almonds and oranges. And in South Texas, they have the largest grapefruit farm. And if you've come across or used Fiji Water, Halo's Mandarin Oranges, or Palm Wonderful, you've been a part of the couple's billion-dollar empire. These are all their products. Linda, a marketing guru, and Stuart, a legal professional, met at a marketing consult at Linda's agency, and the two have worked pretty well ever since. They also shared a deep love for nature, and they started with a flower delivery service, which was a huge hit, and later led them to buy a huge tract of land, where they planted fruits that generated an immense amount of income for them. It's obvious that along with their passion for farming and green thumbs, Linda's marketing proficiency is a big reason for their success. Today, they offer the best of pistachios, pomegranate juice, mandarins, and even wines. Just the very best nature has to offer. They support the local communities, too. They made donations to children's hospitals in California, and it would appear that they have absolutely no plans to retire just yet. Number 2. Lu Yong Hao Number 2 on the list is Lu Yong Hao, who is brother to Lu Yong Jing, ranking fourth on this list. Like his siblings, he seems to have made a considerable amount of money from farming and has a net worth of $12.3 billion. He's the chair of the New Hope Group that runs one of the biggest animal feed companies in China, New Hope Lu, which was ranked as China's biggest agribusiness company in 2013. The company also has interests in chemicals and real estate. He started out teaching at a local technical school, and it was while teaching that he started the business with his brothers. After the split from his brothers, he focused on the animal feeds company that went on to be one of the most successful businesses in China. Besides working on his business, he also focuses on helping small farmers and peasants obtain loans through agricultural cooperatives. As a result, he was named one of the businessmen that changed China in 2012. Number 1. Kin Yinglin And on top of our list is Kin Yinglin, a self-made pork farmer in all of China and the world. But he's not just the most successful farmer. And according to Bloomberg Billionaire's Index, he also boasts one of the fastest growing fortunes. So, how rich is he? Well, he's super rich and he boasts a net worth of a whopping $24 billion. To get to where he is today, Kin Yinglin started farming pigs in 1992, along with his wife. They started out with 22 pigs and are now China's biggest pig breeder, with the 2019 outbreak of swine flu in China and the subsequent increase in demand for pork, pork prices shot up. Thanks to his business acumen, his company navigated this challenge and made fortunes off of it. Then when the coronavirus pandemic hit in 2020, Companies that could supply food within China were in high demand. His company's success got an even bigger boost, and his net worth shot up. And there you have it. Whether you're looking at full-fledged farmers or farmers that have branched out to other businesses, this video tells you just how rich they are. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and are inspired. Until next time on Money Matters, thanks for watching.